Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm right here in Flower Mound, Texas, baby. Boom, and I'm excited too, because guess what? This is our new facility. You guys have seen the progress and things are continuing on. Manufacturing, education, aerospace academy all of it wrapped up into one facility right here in texas oh man look at that look at that the lights are on the electricity it's starting to go on see that it's uh december 3rd and it's a little bit late and it's 45 degrees all good i got my t-shirt on but uh let's get inside the shop and let me show you guys around all right oh, oh man look at the lights look at the lights place is looking good right it's all like drywalled it's all taped up look at the ceilings like when you walk in you can see the scissor lift right there scissor lift the guy's working right look at how high that is and then the ceilings way up there so you can already see the HVAC everything's already ran boom remember now nine foot doors nice and tall bathroom bathroom right there there's a little kitchen area right here that's the hallway there's bathrooms on the opposite side on the shop side also and right here oh looking good looking good this is actually going to be all glass so it's going to be like glass on this side glass on this side and then big glass double doors right there see the hole in the floor we're actually running electrical so we have outlets below the conference table that is gonna sit in the middle of this room. Now these are 12 foot ceilings and you can see, same thing. Look at all the HVAC, look at the fire sprinklers. You gotta think about all the little things, where the outlets are gonna go. You see outlets on the bottom, you see outlets on the top. Because we have a big screen TV right there, boom. And uh, as I said earlier, we're putting electrical into the floor so we have outlets underneath the conference table that's over here. Looks so good, right? If you guys haven't seen, look at all the going or moving to Texas videos that we've posted on YouTube because we've gone through the entire process and showed you from the very beginning to right now. In the beginning, there wasn't even any walls up at all. We were just waiting for permits and uh, now it's all coming together, it's super good. There's gonna be a little kitchen area right here. You have a refrigerator, coffee, probably some nitro cold brew, you know, on tap, make it happen with the sink right there. It's all gonna be right here. A nice big door going out to the shop and then a nice big door going out into our main area where a lot of the editors are gonna be sitting on this mega table right out here. And from the kitchen area, you can actually come over here. Like this is an office right here. Nice big door, right? But uh, there's no windows, right? So we wanted some light to go in there. So what we did was we actually have one door and then on the side, we just have glass on the side. So a lot of light can actually go into that room. So you have one office here. If I turn, there's an office there. That goes into inspection. And then this is the IT room right here. We got crazy media, crazy servers, all of that. It's all gonna be housed inside of here. Now, one of my favorite parts of a machine shop is the quality room, the inspection room, because if you don't have inspection and extremely unbelievable quality, you don't have nothing, right? You can make all the parts in the world, but if they don't meet that print and that spec, you don't have nothing, all right? So we gotta make sure that the quality room is exceptional. Look at that, look at that. We got big CMMs coming in, right? Mitchell Toyo CMMs. Oh, don't wanna disturb them too much. Everybody's like, you know, taping, mudding, all of that. I'm over here on a camera. They're like, what's this guy doing? So from there, we'll come over here bathroom another bathroom on the other side two more bathrooms so there's four bathrooms and uh 
boom, all the plumbing is in. And trust me, even this, like we're all about quality. We're about manufacturing. Watch, the bathrooms are gonna be beautiful, beautiful. And you know, I like to put a little bit of Hawaiian into that, right? Some Hawaiian art and stuff. So a little bit of Aloha in Texas. We'll have some beautiful pictures. It'll be industrial. It'll be like awesome. So now check this out. We're gonna go out to the shop. Oh, look at the lights. Look at the lights. Like, I don't know, like I'm excited because look at those lights. And I, I, I told everyone it's gonna be black, but the lights are not just LED, they're crazy high powered LEDs. So it's just bright out, no matter if it's nighttime or daytime, it's just bright. Another cool thing is, uh, see that guy right there? Basically the whole place all the way throughout is gonna be temperature controlled. We're gonna keep it right where we need to have it consistently. It's gonna be awesome. You know what else is exciting? Boom, like you have such an empty space right here. I already told you guys, it's December 3rd. Look at how empty it is. But back home, back in California, in Rockland, my team is busy at work. We got Heimer there, we got Doosan, my team there, they're boxing everything up, they're putting it on pallets, they're making everything absolutely perfect. And uh, we got a lot of trucks coming. So packing up all the Doosan machines, one of the cool things is like the whole team, my, my entire team is just helping out. I got Jacob and Nicole helping out with a plasma cutter. I got Travis, Stuart, the entire team, everyone is helping out right now and uh, everything is going great. Now, one of the things that I looked at was like, I'm gonna be over here when the trucks show up with all the stuff, right? Like it's gonna be like staggered and we have these shipping doors so uh, yesterday I rented a forklift for over here in Texas, right? But I'm not gonna be unloading this whole thing by myself, you know, just with everything packed and stacked, right? So what we did was we actually purchased extra long pallets, right? So the truck is eight feet wide, but it's actually a little bit more. It's eight feet like 0.4 or something. So we actually went and got pallets that were extra long they were eight feet long, so we can actually take the pallets one after the other and actually put them into the back of the trucks. And therefore, with a forklift that I just rented here in Texas, when the truck pulls up, we'll have them pull up over here to one of the loading docks right here. And then I can just drive the forklift right on pallet, pallet. Because we took the time to organize and put everything on pallets back in California, that will allow one person, me, to be over here and unload all the trucks with a forklift and just stage everything. Another thing I'll say is like May 12th, I woke up and it was like Texas. It wasn't a thought before. It was like the Lord told me Texas and I just got bold and went after it and everything happened since then, right? A lot's happened. But uh, at that point, I was just finishing an entire remodel of our shop, right? Our media room with the space floor. And we had just built, like we're putting glass doors on our conference room, you know, at our facility. And, and we did a lot of work right there. I mean, that's big money. At the end of the day, I guess that's business, right? Because certain people are gonna have an instinct and they're gonna hear something that is like, hey, I need to go do this, but they're not gonna act on it. When I got it, and I was like, man, I, I knew, I just knew that I was supposed to go to Texas and take the company. And then it was all about action. All right, what are we gonna do with that? Let's put it in motion, let's make it happen. I don't even know where in Texas, I don't know anything about Texas, but in a single day, we put it in action and now it's all happened. And it's crazy, right? It's crazy, Texas. That room right there was gonna be our media room, our unbelievable room. And then today you have pallets stacked. You got all the tables stacked, everything perfectly awaiting transit to come to Texas. Super cool. You know, uh, one of my favorite parts of the shop is this area right there. Look at all this glass. Like the whole front has glass, right? But this area is amazing. Like, look at all this glass right there. See that? Back at the shop, 
in our media space that we built, we actually purchased these leather sectionals. Like they were awesome. So we actually just got another one, a fourth. And the reason is there's gonna be like a big square lounge area. So the employees can actually sit in this area, look outside, just a nice, really awesome space in the shop. Right here, that's gonna be our NHM beast of a horizontal. It's gonna be right here, 6300. And then we're gonna put the Minx, two big machines right here. I don't wanna like not use up the wall, but then the windows are so amazing. So I'm just gonna do it a little different. So we're gonna start the machine right here. One machine, two machine, and leave space for big machines to come through this door and pivot and go out that way. When you've seen before, like usually they have Main Street. So I'll have like machines here. Then I'll have like an area right here where you can walk through, drive a forklift through. And then these machines face this, this side. I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. But what we're gonna do is when you come out from that door, we're gonna have machines right here. So we're gonna have like a row of machines coming out this way. And then it's gonna take a corner and then go that way so that when you walk in, I mean, that's that's manufacturing and that's like building a shop. When customers or anybody comes into your facility, you gotta think about everything. So when we look over here and people are coming out this door, it'll be like a little bit in and then it'll be like machines in a row. Boom, right? And there'll be like a lot of space in front of the machines, but you're gonna see like the fronts of machines, boom. And then it's gonna have like a, a walkway, you know, where the forklift can go. And then you're gonna have the big machines over here. Boom. And just a nice design. Heimer tool room is gonna be over here facing the machines. We're gonna have the Tormox. We're gonna have the Studer grinder coming in. Oh, uh, I can't get over these lights. Look at that, it's so bright. Boom. So, uh, this concludes another update. But before I go, I just wanna say I love you guys. I love this trade. I love my team, our culture, our vision, everything that we're doing. Like it is an obsession to me and an obsession for perfection. That's why we gotta make an amazing shop. That's why we gotta bring in elite machines. And that's why we gotta take education to the highest level because our manufacturing workforce deserves it. To my team, I love you guys. This is your home and this is why we're putting in so much work because this is where you guys are gonna be. And uh, thank you so much for uh, believing in me, believing in the company, believing in our trade and uh, moving your families from California over to Texas, risking everything because of the vision that we put in place. We will not disappoint. This is gonna be an amazing journey. We're gonna change the game and we're gonna change countless lives at the same time and you can't get better than that, all right? I love you guys. Take care. Boom, I'm out.